Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Lab Review. We're, this lab we're looking at Lab 9.2.1.11. We're looking at configuring named standard ACLs. So first thing we want to do is make sure that all of our workstations can ping the web server and file server. So I'm going to hop on PC1. Ping file server is 192.168.200.1. 100. 200.100. Again, the first one should time out as an ARP request, but the remaining one should work. Ping the web server 192.168.100.100. Again, the first one should time out as an ARP request. All right, let's hop over to PC. Zero. We're gonna do the same thing. Ping one and two one six eight dot two hundred dot one hundred. All right. And now the web server and it works. Let's go to PC two. Let's do the same thing. Ping one nine two one six eight two hundred dot one hundred. 100.100. Okay, so all of the PC0, 1, and 2 can PC, uh, ping both the file server and web server. So we've done that. Moving on to step 2. Let's hop on R1. Let's get to our global configuration mode. Let's go ahead and let's do a named ACL. We're going to be calling it file server restriction. We're going to permit host 192.168.20.4, which this is PC1. We're going to deny everyone else. So for scoring purposes, the name CA, uh, the name ACL is case sensitive. That was one of the big reasons why I just copied and pasted it. So now let's go ahead and apply the uh, ACL. Let's hop over to our interface. So interface FA0 slash one, we're going to apply it. And that's really all we need to do. So let's go ahead and verify. We're gonna go through and we're gonna get, uh, do the same that we just did. So it's gonna be the 200.100 address. So PC0 could not do it. PC2 could not do it. PC1 happens to be the 20.4 that we allowed. So this one should work, and it does. And that's active the end of this lab. Thank you. You know what, let's go and check the assessment item just to make sure. And both are verified. That's the end of this lab. Thank you.